Uh, right, Ignatius Sancho. Have you heard of him? He was actually born on a slave ship travelling from the west coast of Africa. Came to England and he rose to the top of fashionable society. And he was actually the first person of African origin to vote in Britain back in 1774. His life is extraordinary and it's now been made into a play called Sancho, an act of remembrance. It's been touring internationally. Its first premiere or London premiere is tonight. Alice Porter went along to have a look. One is yet further removed from any sense of tedious ennui when one learns that the sitter is an African gentleman of letters. John Osborne. Patterson Joseph has been touring internationally with his play. Now it's come to Wilton's Music Hall. It tells the story of Ignatius Sancho, who started life as a servant to the aristocracy, but ended up a famous musician and writer and was even painted by one of the most famous artists of the time. I turn over this page and there's a black and white portrait of Gainsborough's Sancho and I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. And when I found out his, because I, I thought this is a time of slavery, 1768, how could this black man be looking so sort of calm and serene and, and, um, and well dressed? And I thought, is this a pastiche? Is it a real story? And when I found out the real story, which is incredible, I thought, I must, I must do something, I must write something. To be honest with you, I'm doing it for the costume, because it's a good costume, but I'm also doing it to say, hey guys, our history together, black and white Britons, goes a long way back. You've been researching Sancho for the last 20 years. How did that change for you, how you felt about being black and British? This man, it was a Londoner. 250 odd years before I am. We have walked these streets for hundreds of years. Why, do, why should I walk like a stranger, like I've just arrived? And so I do, I walk around a little bit more sure of myself and sure of who I am in London and as, as a Briton. And that's a major change actually in my life. Sancho was clearly a significant figure in his day, but I wanted to know more about his journey from a slave ship to being a man who could vote. He was raised in some of the most um, exclusive and high-status households in Britain and later in life he became an independent businessman, a grocer in Westminster. In this letter, um, Sancho is writing uh, to his um, close uh, friend, um, William Stevenson. So he says, I, sir, am an African, with two Fs, if you please, and proud I am to be of a country that knows no politicians, nor lawyers, nor this, nor that, nor thieves of any denomination, save natural. So he's very much commenting on his identity as someone uh, of African origin. How difficult was that for him living in 18th century Britain as a black man? So Sancho describes uh, a family day out in Vauxhall Gardens with his children in 1777. And he says that we went by water and had a coached home. We were gazed at, followed, etc., etc., but not much abused. And I think that single word, much, says a lot about Sancho's day-to-day -day experience trying to lead a normal life as a black man in 18th century London. Sancho's greengrocers no longer exist. The British Foreign Office stands over the site, but there is a plaque commemorating it. In 18th century Britain, very few people were eligible to vote. Only around 3% of the population, and crucially, you had to own property. That's why this plaque here is so significant because it shows that even by the standards of the day, what Ignatius Sancho achieved was very unusual, but as a black man, it was totally unprecedented. And as this play arrives here in London, the legacy of Ignatius Sancho continues to survive. Alice Porter, BBC News. What a fascinating story. That's it from the programme. We'll see you tomorrow from the team.